Look out! McNeil, get out of there! It's gonna collapse! At least we don't need to rebuild the barricade. Finding the right people to play the characters in Dead Space Extraction was really important. We wanted to continue to remain consistent with having believable characters, so we spent a lot of time not only trying to find the right voice, but also trying to find the right look. What are you doing here? Get out! Doc, you all right? Holy yeah. shit, he's lost it! Help! I got your back! One of the things that fans may not know about this game is that we actually have five times more dialogue than the original Dead Space. This is a story-driven game. And the reason why it succeeds as a story-driven game is because of the caliber of the actors. This triple-A cast really delivered. They got super excited about working on this property. We showed them the game before we started. We did a table read, and the actors were all really on board with the characters and what they were going to do. Something's wrong. She's gonna crash! Get down! The story of Extraction is the story of a group of heroes who have banded together to survive the infection and also escape the planet's surface. It's a ragtag group, and they don't know each other, and each person in this group kind of has a different objective and goal that becomes revealed as we play the game. Help me! Do something! Shoot it! Ned, help me! It's got me! I am playing Lexine Murdoch who is a bit of a tough cookie, I think. But also, she's just lost a lot of people in her life. And so she's going through quite a lot of emotional stuff as well. But she is a fighter. She is immune to the weirdness, so she's, she's a pretty strong girl. Sounds like your rookie's losing it. Yeah, I reckon whatever's gone to everyone else down here is getting to him too. Shouldn't you take his firearm? <laughs> if he cracks, I'll deal with it. The day I can't put down a rookie is the day I hang up my boots. Ah! My favorite guy in the middle of all this is Weller, who's sort of the, the leader, old salt guy of, of the crew. And what I like about him is that he keeps the indulgent storytelling from getting too self-indulgent. Just when you think people are going to go off on some three-minute cutscene, he's like, let's move it, people. And I really like his sort of brisk energy and no-nonsense demeanor, which is more interesting as it starts to break down a little bit through the game you learn that that guy maybe isn't so hard and actually is a, is a person under there. Hey, that's enough. Look, there's a hatch in the roof. The doc said hydroponics was above us, right? Assuming she was telling the truth. You want to stay here, you go right ahead. I'm getting out. Eckhart's, he's a CEO, he's a, he's a corporate boss, really. And he's a civilian and he's not a military person. He doesn't know anything really about guns or the situation he's found himself in is really foreign for him. It was fun working with the cast because some of them have video game experience, some of them are actually avid gamers, and some of them had never touched a controller in their entire lives. And so seeing the two groups interact and learn to play Dead Space was a really fun experience. Uh, it was kind of like passing the torch between one generation and the next. But what I really liked was even the people who had never played a game before got the controller in their hands and said, you guys have a hit in your hands. This is really fun. I can't wait to see what happens next. 